What's happening people? I'm back in the kitchen again and today I've got a little special Friday treat for you. It's a takeaway, well, fake away. We've got a luxury house special chicken tikka and lamb biryani with basmati rice. That's what a biryani is, isn't it? I always used to think that it was just a style of curry, but it's actually mixed with the rice. I've watched some uh, some travel vloggers and they're in like, India and things like that and it's like their main dish is a biryani and you see it getting made in the street and all that and I'd love to do that one day so maybe one day I'm doing that but for today I'm going to stick to Iceland because it's cheaper to do it in my kitchen than go all the way to India <laughs> one day maybe one day this is what we're doing today luxury meal by Iceland have you guys had that if you have let me know in the comments what you guys think of it and then you're about to find out what I think. Now it has got a spice rating, but it is only one, but it is one out of three. And there's not much else on the front. There's no traffic light system or anything like that. Just a big new sign. Is it actually new? I don't know what to believe these days, but it looks very, very good. Chicken tikka, love it. Lamb, love it. Let's take a look at this sleeve. So, like I said, it is a sleeve, so we are just going to remove this sleeve and give you a little look at this. Now, it doesn't really look that great. That chicken tikka looks very orange. That's your tikka, and there must be lamb underneath there. Obviously, you can't see too much because it uh, needs to be microwaved, I would imagine. So, on the sides, it just says the same, so it's all on the back. Uh, wow, look at that for ingredients list. Check that out. There is a lot there. We have got 40% basmati rice, cooked, seared, tikka, marinated chicken, 20%, 93% um, chicken breast, and then the tikka, like paste and flavourings and things like that. 9% lamb, 8% peas, so there's not a lot of lamb in it, but that's it, and then a lot of like flavourings, powders and things like that. You've got milk and barley as the allergen, and that is the nutritional information in more detail. For you guys that know what you're talking about, I, of course, do not. That's not often you see that. Basically, the same amount of protein as there is the same amount of carbs. Now, I were expecting it to be a lot more carb than 38 grams in this rice-filled pack. Um, 416 calories per pack. It's I just saw there, it's 400 grams. And a little bit of information, it says... Luxury house special chicken tikka and lamb biryani. Cooked basmati rice in a mild spiced curry sauce with cooked seared tikka marinated chicken breast pieces, minced lamb and peas. Now, minced lamb, so it's um, like a mince. And the way to cook is you can only microwave this. It says 7 minutes and 30 seconds on 800 watts. Mine's 1,000 watts, so we'll have to adjust that accordingly. Remove out of packaging, pierce film this several times. Place on a microwaveable plate, cook for five minutes, stir and cook for another two and a half. And that is all it tells you. Looks all right though, doesn't it? It looks a bit dry. That's what I will say. And that's what I've I've noticed when I've been watching uh, other people eat this, even in um, India. Okay, so the price of this item, this 400 gram, it looks bigger than 400 gram. It's quite thin. It just looks, it looks gigantic and obviously that's like a marketing boy isn't it it's a bigger pack but it's still only 400 grams the price of it is three pound and 75 pence what do you think to that is that a good deal or is that just because it's new i mean they're always going to be around that price there's a lot you can get it in the three for ten pound online in iceland um so you can get it at like three pound 33 or three pound 34 so is that worth it? 400 grams. It does look good and it's starting to smell good. So we'll come take a look at this now. It's, it's ready to uh, give it a mix up. Okay, so that's five and a half minutes. It's escaping steam. Now we've got to give it a stir. Now that doesn't look great, does it? Let's be honest. But it's made to be mixed up like that. 
So that's what we're going to do. So this mince lamb here should be everywhere. You got there. Oh, a few more pieces of chicken there. I wasn't expecting that. So you got one, two big pieces, and you got one, two, three, four, five. Another. Yeah, we've got like seven pieces of chicken. Doesn't look too bad. Very orange, this chicken, though. It's not what you'd expect normally from a tikka marinated chicken. But maybe I'm thinking about masala. This is biryani. So, it's got to have two and a half more minutes yet. But it's already looking quite good. And not as dry as I actually thought. But... Another two and a half minutes in the microwave. And then we'll get it onto a plate. And see if we can get this looking like that. And there it is. Complete. So. Look at that. We'll give it another mix up. Just feel a slightly drier than it did before. However... Nowhere near as dry as I thought it would be, and as dry as that looks. Although I've got this white rice covered up, because it's all supposed to be like brown, and covered up with this curry sauce. Oh, they do smell very powdery, I'll be honest. Right, get it onto this plate. You see what I mean about how big the packaging is compared to the plate? We'll get all this out, don't worry. You guys take a closer look at this, and then we'll have a taste. So it's all important taste time now it does visually it doesn't look great it just looks like a mess on a plate but it basically looks like curry and rice but mixed up that's basically what it looks like obviously that's what it is but it's not as saucy as curry it has not dry because it is still like a bit moist but it's it's nowhere near like a curry um level of sauciness but i suppose it's not supposed to be um, but it is my first time having one of these biryanis like this. I have seen them, like I say. Now, I've seen them at the source. I mean, I'm talking about watching people like Harold Balder and um, Dale Phillip and things like that in in Bangladesh and Pakistan and India where the biryani was so popular. And then I saw this new and I thought, oh, I've got to give it a go. So, that's what I'm doing. I'm giving it a go. So, we've got no chicken on this piece here. We've got the lamb. You can see the little... Very, very small minced lamb, a few peas, a little uh, red, red pepper. Wow. Wow, that's really nice. That is a really nice flavour. Does taste slightly, and I mean slightly, curry powderish, but obviously that's what the flavour is. Mm. you got these nice big pieces of charred tea, marinated tikka chicken. Mm. As always with Iceland, the chicken is phenomenal. Really just perfect for me. But the rice here, the lamb and the... the, the the curry, does it say it's curry sauce or does it say curry flavouring? Mild spiced curry sauce. Now it's not really saucy, I don't know if I'd call it a sauce or like just spices, curry spices or something like that. But yeah, it's delicious. Mm. It really is nice that. It's not spicy. If you're worried about how spicy it is, one out of three, probably could, could even be zero. It's not spicy at all, but it's got a really nice flavour. Yeah, I'm a fan of that. Would I buy it again? Absolutely. Three pound, 
34 if you're buying it in the 3 for 10 or 375 when it's on. Probably a little bit overpriced, but there is plenty of chicken there. You've got that minced lamb. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm being a bit harsh with the price. You guys, I'm sure, will tell me. This one, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. It's, uh, it's really nice. Microwave only. Well, I think it's, it suits being cooked in the microwave. So it could be one of those famous meals that are convenient, take it to work, that sort of thing. Overall, I really like that. And I just think that 38 grams of carbs in that, I thought there were going to be a lot more of that because it's all like basically rice. But 38 grams of carbs, 38 grams of protein, not too bad. I like that. And only 416 calories, but they don't advertise that anywhere. So that's half decent for you, if you're calorie counting, like me. Thanks for watching. Uh, the two videos over the weekend have actually been pre-recorded. I've done them. So we've got, a, and they're both pizzas. So I've got two pizzas coming this weekend. Uh, two new pizzas. And one, the one you're just going to see on Sunday, I wish I'd never done. It was the biggest mistake of my life. Make of that what you will. But do not miss this week this weekend's videos. So don't be confused if I've got a beard on tomorrow, but not on Sunday again. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and I'll uh, I'll see you tomorrow. I'll be in the comments on Sunday as well. Take care. Did somebody say just Hope you're all fantastic. Would be special. Wouldn't buy that again.